Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about polarization of antennas and the radio frequency electromagnetic waves, which is the fundamental concept related to the way that radio frequency electromagnetic waves are propagating in space. And um, the typical types of uh, polarization are linear, which could be further subclassified as horizontal and vertical linear polarization, then circular, where we can uh, characterize it at right-hand circular and left-hand circular polarized waves, and finally elliptical polarization, which is um, something of a um, uh, generalized circular wave for uh, real-world environments. Before we begin this video, let me remind you that I have a video course available on my website dedicated to practical EMC testing for radio products. This course covers all general aspects of radio product compliance testing that include ETSI standards and uh, radio equipment directive for Europe. Please uh, use the exclusive discount RF50 to get 50% off. Now let's go back to the video. Let's illustrate uh, the concept of a radio frequency wave polarization with a simple example. In this case, we have an electromagnetic wave propagating in a direction of the pointing angle, which is basically a cross product of the electromagnetic wave electric field with uh, its magnetic field. And it has a specific direction, as you can see, along the axis of the Earth. So basically, um, it's propagating somewhere on the Earth. Let's um, think of it like this. And um, as it uh, propagates, it has its electric field oscillating. And its field is oscillating in a vertical direction, as it seems from the Earth. Now, if you were on the Moon, it may not be the case, it may look different. But we are on Earth, so we're looking at this wave as we are basically seeing it propagating. So, when we look at it, uh, from this point of view, for example, when we have a base station here and we receive a base station, um, maybe the transmit base station is located there. So when they talk to each other, uh, this uh, looks like a vertical uh, polarization of uh, electromagnetic wave. And uh, this may be completely different. It may be, in fact, uh, uh, rather than this. And rather than vertical wave, this wave may look something like this, which in this case would be horizontal wave, because when we look at it from this base station point of view, it will look horizontal. So this is effectively the most basic electromagnetic radio frequency wave, which is um, uh, vertically or horizontally polarized electromagnetic wave. And um, this is actually the most common type of electromagnetic polarization uh, because when we have our smartphones and we tend to hold them either in this direction or in this direction, in fact, very often the antennas are printed on the sides, then they are obviously going to propagate either with vertical or horizontal polarization. However, as you may see, it's very unlikely that the wave is going to be 100% uh, polarized vertically or 100% polarized horizontally. What we typically get is a bit of a slant angle and the polarization is uh, somewhere in between the 100 polarized uh, horizontal or 100 polarized vertical, uh, but still it falls under the linearly polarized waveform. Then we can consider this case as an ideal case when uh, both antennas 
are perfectly matched in terms of their orientation and uh, in that case we're going to get uh, the theoretically maximum uh, amount of power so we can uh, consider this as an ideal uh, case for received power and if we um, basically divide that value by uh, from uh, the received power we're going to get a loss as of uh, a basically ratio from the received power to the uh, ideal uh, power that would imply the polarization matched uh, communication link of course we are never going to get um, ideal case so we are always going to have uh, uh, polarization loss in a real scenario. In order to understand polarization we can first uh, think about ordinary light source and a light is a type of uh, uh, electromagnetic wave that uh, propagates in visible light spectrum. Uh, so it also has polarization and the polarization of light relates to the way its uh, electric field oscillates. If its electric field oscillates completely randomly and does not have any specific direction, this is called as unpolarized light. And you may uh, see the uh, type of glasses that uh, prevent uh, unpolarized light from reaching uh, your eyes so that they polarize the light and give it a specific direction. Um, since uh, the unpolarized light can be really harmful. So the radio frequency waves work in a very similar way except that they uh, propagate in a different spectrum and uh, they can also be unpolarized and polarized. But uh, when we consider polarized uh, radio frequency waves, we typically look at them in a direction of propagation. And if uh, the radio frequency wave is propagating along the uh, Earth's axis, then we call it vertical polarized wave. And if it's um, the opposite of that, uh, so it would be horizontal. However, if it's uh, going in circles, then we would consider it as circular polarized, which can be right-hand polarized or left-hand polarized. Then the other possibility is when we have an electromagnetic wave propagating in this sort of way, and uh, basically the electric field is oscillating uh, in uh, the direction of a right-hand circular uh, kind of shape or like these uh, slices of a pizza you can look at it and um, as it carries on you get more and more uh, basically circle orientation polarization um, going this way and in this case the polarization can be either right hand or left hand so when you have right hand polarization it's going in a right hand direction and you, when you have left hand polarization it goes in a left hand direction, so counterclockwise. And effectively this type of polarization is not very commonly encountered um, in a conventional antenna system but it is often used in um, space where you have uh, free space propagation and you do not have a lot of uh, uh, multipass so a lot of uh, reflections etc that create linear polarized components so in this case you can create uh, uh, very easy uh, circular polarized uh, waveforms and one of the uh, most commonly encountered examples of this is GPS. GPS is a circularly polarized uh, waveform. There is another interesting case concerning polarization and that is related to the concept of multiple input and multiple output systems. So let's go back to the previous example with a horizontally polarized uh, linear waveform. And in this case, let's also add a vertically polarized waveform. So you can see now you have uh, two uh, waveforms, basically one propagating in horizontal uh, direction and another propagating in a vertical direction. So now, 
because uh, let's assume that these waveforms do not correlate to each other and they don't cause mutual interference, the smart thing we can do, we can transmit different signals on uh, different polarizations. So we can transmit uh, signal A in a polarized waveform uh, horizontally and the signal B on a polarized waveform uh, vertically. So as a result, we can double the amount of basically information that we send. And uh, that is a very commonly used technique for uh, MIMO. So if you're interested, it, it is effectively a MIMO uh, two by two system. So when you have uh, two antennas, then one is uh, polarized. Uh, uh, so they cross polarized to each other, one horizontally, one vertical, but they're connected to different ports. They are not connected to the same port. And when you have a matching antenna on the opposite uh, receiver's uh, side, you can transmit two uh, communication channels simultaneously. And uh, basically in a, a multipass uh, rich environment where you have many reflections bouncing up and down, you are likely to receive both. So um, effectively you will double the amount of uh, information you're sending. Of course, you could also play this trick with uh, circular polarized waveforms and uh, you can uh, transmit both uh, right-hand uh, polarized and left-hand polarized waveforms simultaneously as well as, uh, on top of that, linearly polarized waveforms which all makes it very interesting when you want to transmit multiple uh, streams simultaneously. However, you should be aware of the coupling between uh, circular and linear polarized waveforms forms since um, in fact there's um, all very similar things therefore in reality what you tend to get is a third type of the waveform is a kind of a waveform that has elliptical propagation and the elliptically polarized waveform contains elements of both linearly polarized waveforms and circularly polarized waveforms so it propagates in a strange uh, elliptically like shape where it's uh, basically a three-dimensional thing and I'm not really able to draw it very well uh, but um, you kind of get the idea uh, and this type of a waveform is also very common over long distances because as the wave uh, basically bounces off the different objects it becomes more and more complex complex to describe with a simple equation. Finally, I cannot but mention the fact that we can control the polarization of uh, radio frequency waveforms by introducing an intermediate uh, surface in between and this is uh, called a reconfigurable intelligent surface which can then convert for example a circularly polarized waveforms into a linearly uh, polarized waveforms by effectively controlling the Brewster angle which is uh, related to the plane polarized so basically it uh, reflection is plane polarized and you can control the plane your definition of it uh, by changing the impedances of the RAS unit cells and then the overall uh, response of the RIS gives the configuration that provides a linear polarization in this example. And if you're interested, you can learn more about this in another video that I have on my channel. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know if you have any comments below. Uh, I will be producing more videos related to radio frequency and EMC related topics, so please uh, stay tuned.